morning, Alaska. I'm Victoria Taylor filling in for Stevie French, coming to you live from downtown Anchorage. Now, as you can see, I added something to my wardrobe. It is Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day. Right now, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're with uh, Kelly Toth here from the Office of Boating Safety. Can you tell me a little bit about why you guys are encouraging people to accessorize with uh, life jackets today? <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yes, it is coming up on the boating season, and it is important to uh, always wear a life jacket. We have a compelling reason in Alaska to wear a life jacket, and it is because we we have really cold water. Um, five out of six boating fatalities in Alaska are vessel capsizes, people falling overboard, swamping, and it's mostly males. Um, and so wearing a life jacket when you're on an open boat or on the deck of a boat is really your best defense against Alaska's cold water and cold water drowning. Um, even on cold, uh, warm, sunny, blue sky, calm water days, everyone should wear a life jacket because those are the times when your risk perception you don't think that it's really that big a deal it's beautiful out but the cold water really is uh, is a problem so wearing a life jacket is the best thing that you can do children under 13 they have to wear a life jacket by law on an open boat or the deck of a boat um, it has to be US Coast Guard approved serviceable um, and in good condition um, we say Kids don't float, but neither do grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, moms, and dads. They all should wear a life jacket when on an open boat or the deck of a boat. And so, I mean, you can obviously have one close by or wear it, but the importance is that it also fits right, correct? Yes. I used to think that it was important just to put a life jacket on my child. So we'd go boating, and I'd think I have one, two, three, four, five people here. I've got five life jackets. We're good to go. But the important thing is to make sure that it fits mm -hmm. um, because oftentimes you'll see people with these and if you go in the water, it's just going to ride up on you and it won't fit right. So you want to pull up on the shoulders and make sure that it fits. If it does go past your, your ears, you want to tighten that life jacket mm -hmm. down. We tell people if it feels like a big hug, then it fits. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's nice. So I can tell that mine is a little loose here. So yep. for mine's a different style, it obviously. Is. So this is more like a traditional one, and then yeah. this one, it, does this one function any differently, or? These are great because they're low profile. Um, you can go fishing, you can go hunting, you could shoulder a gun, you could do your video camera equipment and whatever outside, it's low profile. But if you need to, if you fall into the water, all you do is just pull the cord and it will inflate. There's the kind that's the manual kind where you pull the cord. There's a kind that is um, water activated, so there's a little pill inside. It'll, it'll dissolve and then um, it'll inflate it. And another kind that's with hydrostatic pressure will push on it and it will inflate. So a couple different kinds with that. But they do come in camouflage too for those. Well, I really like the pink, so I'm going to make sure that mine fits right. <laughs> Pretty sure that I would be floating if it were in the water. Oh, it's a little snug. <laughs> Thank you. So now that I know my life jacket fits, we're going to take a look at your weekend weather. I'm pretty sure I probably need this for the rest of the day out there. I hope you guys can get yours uh, close by.